G'day, Ice Cream Lovers. My name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to this session of Scoop School. Nice to have you along. Broadcasting from Wildwood, Missouri, a little bit west of St. Louis. Brand new facility. What you're seeing here is our instruction room. Again, just finished a class last week. 12 people from all around the country. One of those people could be you. Check out scoopschool.com for all of our class information. We'd love to have you here. Get a lot of good feedback from people who basically have taken uh, their free viewing of Scoop School all the way up to the point where it's like, okay, now I'm kind of confident here. I'd like to take my knowledge and learning to the next level. I'm ready to invest some time, money, effort into training. And that's what a lot of our class members do. So we'd love to see you in class one day. Great question today, or a great uh, topic, I should say. But first, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, Mitch Kleinman and the whole crew there at Frozen Solutions. The link is down below. Cups, lids, custom cups, color changing spoons, straws, the whole box and dice. You can even rent ice cream equipment from him. Frozensolutions.com, the link is down below. We always thank our episode sponsors. So thank you, Mitch, for sponsoring this episode. Okay, so we get this question a lot um, through courses and through different forums. Is soft serve more profitable than premium ice cream? And it's a really good question. And I think we're gonna have one of these at the end of the video because there are some pros and cons to doing it. Let me tell you that anytime you're buying a butterfat mix, anything that's dairy, the less butterfat content in the mix, the less the product is going to cost you per gallon. So let's say for example, a 14% uh, heavy ice cream mix, 14% fat ice cream mix may cost you somewhere around the $10 a gallon. You may find that a 4% or a 5% soft serve mix may cost you somewhere around that kind of $8.50 mark. So you're looking at about a dollar or so for a swing of 10% fat. Again, I'm using the example, talk to some mix suppliers about it, but yes, it is a little bit cheaper to buy a lower fat mix than it is a heavier fat mix. Obviously there's less uh, uh, dairy cream in it, less uh, uh, ingredients. So the, the real uh, expensive ingredient obviously is your butter fat, less fat, less expensive ingredients, cheaper. Now, that being said, the perception also though, it comes within the mouth feel of that soft serve. So you can put a four, five, six percent soft serve mix in your soft serve machine. It'll run very well, but you can also put an 8% soft serve mix in. You could put a 10% soft serve or a 10% custard in that mix as well, or in that machine. And you've got a much more rich gourmet product that you can charge a little bit more for. So you've kind of got this sliding scale of butter fat as it goes up in price, you actually can charge a little bit more for that as well. So in the grand scheme of things, soft serve is a little bit less expensive because A, you've got a less expensive product, a less expensive base product. B, unlike premium ice cream, you're not adding different flavor ripples, particulates, uh, ribbons in there. So it's really just a you know base product that comes out uh, and then you're selling. So um, the answer is yes, but again, I really do stress that it's people don't come to an ice cream shop just to buy ice cream. They're coming there for the experience. So if you were to segment out the product only and say, well, by product, um, yeah, soft serves a little bit less expensive. But let's say that you've got this place that is absolutely fantastic. You've got murals on the wall, you've got TV showing different aspects here, your employees are really friendly and engaging, and people love to hang out at your place because of the environment and the engagement. Typically, you can charge a little bit more because again, people aren't buying products just for the product. They're buying your end product, your engagement, and your environment. So um, your product, in this case, soft serve is just one part of the success of your business, but you shouldn't just focus on that, not that you are but you should also look at your environment and your engagement because you can also charge a little bit more because the experience is much more engaging. Typically, soft serve equipment is a little bit less expensive than batch, so your capital uh, equipment cost is a little bit less, your mix is a little bit less, uh, but again, depends on where you are and what you're doing as to how much you charge for it. So look, I'm going to lean towards, ding which is this one here, yes, 
Yes, it is uh, a little bit more profitable, but remember that it's a sliding scale too. That sliding scale means quality of product goes up, butter fat goes up, price goes up a little bit as well. So it's kind of, look, it's just a slight yes. King. I hope that answers your question. Uh, look, I do want to throw in there also that the soft serve is a great crossover product as well, meaning that you can have a case of eight to 10, 20 different flavors of premium ice cream and a countertop soft serve over here to do your shakes and your blended products, the McFlurries and that kind of thing. Uh, so give that some consideration as well. It can stand alone as its own product base or it can complement or be a crossover to others as well. Hope that answers your question. Keep the questions coming. We love the questions. Type one in down below. Madeline's always scrolling through the comments, pulling out those questions for us to answer. Uh, or you can contact us directly. Go to the website, scoopschool.com. We love having people uh, reach out to us. Maybe uh, reserve a 15 minute time slot where you can chit chat with us. Happy to help. Thank you again to Mitch and the crew at Frozen Solutions. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.